Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. Uh, in this example we're gonna look to some postulates and theorems that are used for proving that triangles are congruent. So if you notice here we have two triangles. We have this triangle, right? Uh, a B C and we have the second triangle. Uh, you see A and C also, they are here, they have this common side ACB or ABC, right? They are two triangles. And one we notice we have D side BC congruent to AD, uh, AB congruent to uh, DC, and also we have this common side, right? So, based on this fact that we have three corresponding congruent sides, AB with DC, um, BC with, um, like I said, AD, and uh, AC is congruent with itself, AC, we, have, we can say here that these two triangles are congruent by side, 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 postulate, right? So triangle, and now this is very important to write the corresponding sides. So the triangle A, B, C, we start like this, congruent with triangle what? Triangle um, C, B, A, right? Corresponding sides. Okay, now again, side, side, side. In the second part of this problem, we're going to look to two more triangles. Again, you see I separate them, but you don't really need that. And what do you notice? If these two sides are congruent, these two sides are congruent, and also these angles are vertical angles, and they are congruent. So, what theorem or what postulate we can use to prove that these two triangles are congruent. And we have one that is called side angle psi theorem, right? Why? Because you have here AB congruent to BC, DB congruent to uh, BE. And also we notice the angle included. Angle, and I'm gonna have to use three letters. A, B, D, congruent with angle E, B, C. In fact, C, B, E, if you wanna be, use the first one letter. Okay, so based on side angle side, these two triangle, triangle A, B, D, congruent with triangle C, E, E, and again, it's very important on this statement to follow the correct order. Okay, side, angle, side. And the third problem in this example has also two triangles that have, if you remember, uh, we had a previous example, of the same group of common sides. So let's take a look here. What do we have? We have these congruent angles. We have these common side and these two angles congruent. So, are these two triangles congruent? And the answer is yes. These two triangles are congruent based on what? Angle, side, angle. This will be the theorem that can be used to prove that these two triangles are congruent. Why? We notice again angle CAB congruent to angle FAB, angle CBA, congruent to angle FBA, and we notice that common side AB congruent to AB. So again, based on these three corresponding congruent parts using ASA, Triangle A, B, C congruent with triangle 
ABF. And let's see the last theorem that can be used to prove that two triangles are congruent. Again, we notice here we have two triangles, they have a common vertex. We can separate them. You don't really need to separate them here, but just in case. Okay. So what do you notice here? These two sides are congruent, that being A, B, and B, C. Okay. And then we have uh, these two angles are congruent. Angle D and E. We can use only one letter here. It's good enough. But also we have these two angles being congruent. Vertical angles. So if you notice, I said a side and two angles. That is angle, angle, side. All right, angle, angle, side theorem for proving these triangles are congruent. Let's list them A, B, congruent to B, C. Like I said, this is the side in this angle, angle, side. And then we have angle D congruent to angle E. This is the first angle. And then we have the last angles A, B, D congruent to angle E, B, C. So now we know these two triangles A, B, D is congruent to triangle C, B, E. is on, like I said, uh, Angle, angle side. If you enjoy this uh, video, please don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more math. Thank you.